The reason for this meeting that we've called is uh, mainly for the purpose of a emergency grant request for additional hazmat equipment. Obviously, it's a little unorthodox to uh, have a have a, an emergency meeting like this, um, but whenever one of the uh, the departments within the state that is you know state funded, you know, request something, we do like to you know put out all of the stops. And when would these drills take place? Would it uh, would it require overtime? Would it require uh, you know additional costs to the department and its funds? Absolutely not. Here they are. Alright, ugh. Let's go meet him. Yeah. So I guess to start with 10 would be a good number. Yeah. Owner Oberfackel, nice to meet you. Hey, okay. I'll take it fire, Chief. And nice to meet you too. Alright. Oh, it's the lady who tried to pull us over. Uh, uh, this is Howdy. my uh, Deputy Chief Campbell. She's my number two. Yeah, I believe we've met before. Uh, yeah, nice to see you again, Governor. You too. I believe this is the captain. Yes, this nice is, uh, to meet you, Governor. Captain McPaul, he's uh, also nice our head of hazmat. All right. All right, yeah. Well, you've given me some nice introductions, so I just introduced you to my team I got here. So we got, uh, with me, I fitted I bring, you know, a few, you know, some companies. So we got my Lieutenant Governor, Dale Johnson, right here, to my, uh, to my right. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, sir. And then we got my Assistant Inspector General all the way over there on the right as well. Yeah, the briefcase. Nice to meet you, Nico Young. Hello, sir. But how about, again, stop, uh, how about we stop, you know, these guys from having a heart attack and head inside? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, McCall, would you like I to leave us I see the sweat marks underneath. Uh, of course, if you want to follow me. All right. Don't mind me, I'm a little bit slow. That's all right. So am I in my old age, but that's a, that's a different story. Oh, wow. I wish mine was old age. All right, thank you. We're here to discuss your hazmat uh, response capabilities. Yes, sir. Uh, so f as far as our preparedness goes and readiness, uh, we are fully operational and uh, ready to respond to this uh, sarin gas threat that is here in the city at this time. Um, the reason for this meeting that we've called is uh, mainly for the purpose of a emergency grant request for additional hazmat equipment. Uh, my captain here has uh, a list of items that we're looking to acquire, uh, but as far as the dollar amount goes for the grant, um, it's actually far smaller than uh, most would assume for hazardous material uh, equipment. Uh, we're only looking for an emergency grant of $25,000, which will cover um, the purchase of class A or level A hazmat suits, as well as additional equipment that we may need in the field um, and this is to uh, actually equip all of our apparatus with uh, hazmat uh, equipment, not just our hazmat specific vehicles. That way, in the event that any of our uh, firefighters uh, do come across a, a sarin gas threat uh, out in the field, uh, they can immediately prepare uh, for dealing with it. And the reason for this is uh, one of our own firefighters, Firefighter Shaw, responded to a medical call, and it was actually the uh, previous uh, or most recent sarin gas attack and he unfortunately was exposed to it and luckily has recovered um, but it could have been a lot worse uh, but it also could have been a lot better and that is the purpose for the request of this grant all right 
Um, first and foremost, do we have people looking into this? Oh, you're right there, uh, Lieutenant Divina? Yep. Alright, first and foremost, do we have people looking into this, uh, this thread of Sarandias? Where it came from? Yeah. I'm, one of the, uh, I'm one of the best detectives on that case. Uh, the LSPD is working on it. That's the LSPD? Right. Oh, that's perfect. I have a meeting with them right after this. We'll, uh, we'll chat about that there with them then. Um, in terms of your ground, what kind of items are you looking to purchase uh, with $25,000? It's not as much as I thought you would be uh, trying to get out of us. Yeah, uh, McFall? Sure. Um, so, first off, I want to obviously thank you for you now having the time to meet with us to actually sit down and talk about the things we need. Um, the first edition, or or the most important addition we'd like to see um, is the addition of our level A has we can, you know, capabilities. Um, we right now in the department have 24 hazmat level A suits, um, which for those of you not familiar look like that, you know, alien suits, the orange ones. Uh huh. All right. Um, um we. As I said, currently have 24 in stock. Um, with our plan on increasing uh, the equipment on every apparatus, uh, we would require at least 34 to be able to staff every apparatus, but also have some reserve suits in case anything gets damaged or needs to be put out of service. Um, so first request would be in addition for additional hazmat suits. Uh, 10 in total, which will sum up to uh, 1,630 corrections, my apologies, $16,340 as one suit costs $1,600, um, right. which is fairly much, I guess. Um, however, these are multi-use suits, so it's not just a single use. They are maintenanced within the state by the fire department and therefore last rel relatively long, I'd say. Um, the rest of the money, we would like to expand the current, uh, well, first of all, to cope with the extended um, amount of money we currently spend on having equipment, but also to expand the way we can respond, uh, especially the contamination we're currently looking into, um, you know, get a second decon shelter. We're looking into expand with more decon brushes, or, you know, decon agent, the deform we use to decontaminate people. Uh, therefore, we would need an additional water heater, um, additional chemical tape to seal anything off, to seal any of our other hazmat suits properly in order to keep the firefighters safe. Um, and also just some general materials in order for hazmat to work, such as, you know, rubber boots or hazmat gloves. Oh, that's a long list. All right. Um, well, you answered uh, pretty much every question I was going to ask you. Every every time a question popped into my mind, you you know spread it on answers. So I would like to thank you for you know coming prepared as you are. Uh, obviously, it's a little unorthodox to uh, have a have um, an emergency meeting like this. Um, but whenever one of the uh, the departments within the state that is you know state funded, you know request something, we do like to you know put out all of the stops and make the effort that we can make. Uh, it sounds to 25,000. It's not as much as I thought it was going to be. However, we still need to save the money from somewhere. Um, so obviously you guys dead in this money means other people not dead in the money and, you know, means us taking the money out of someone else's budget. So um, we're going to have to think about the proposal, but obviously because it's an emergency one, it is going to be the top of our priority. Um, nine times out of ten, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you it's probably going to, you know, be pushed through because I like to, I like to think I, I work for, for you guys. You guys don't work for me, I work for you. And, you know, I need to do whatever I can to make sure you guys are prepared to respond to anything to keep our state safe and to keep the citizens of this state, you know, calm, collected, and, you know, where they need to be. And for that, obviously, I thank you for your service. And uh, I hope that a firefighter who was exposed does, you know, heal swiftly. But uh, I do I do believe we are going to be able to make this request happen for you guys. I appreciate that, Governor, especially since, uh, you know, this is obviously an attack that has now taken the lives of innocent people. I'm sure uh, any group that you propose this uh, to uh, will have no problem passing it through. It's uh, especially with our citizens uh, taking the, the, the primary brunt of this attack. Exactly. Um, 
that's that's the main priority keeping our citizens safe and you know allowing every department involved in this to respond accordingly and to uh to further fund the investigation into these threats and attacks because you know the, the, the sooner we stop them the less likely you will need to use this equipment but uh, at the end of the day once we fund this equipment you know it's there forever for you guys to use but um you know we we will look into this and we will take it seriously and you know it is going to be the top of our priority i can assure you that um, but i would like to thank you for the meeting and for you know again being as prepared as you are um if you can forward those lists onto uh onto my office all right perfect yeah if you can forward those uh those lists onto my office we'll get that all look, uh, looked into and uh you have an answer within the weekend more than likely excellent thank you governor just Perfect. as a little addition um the documents yep. just presented to you um include also the emergency protocols we put in place for your department in case you're interested um right. on what we currently do to prevent anything from happening to the fire department and to keep us as operational as possible uh, but also on how we reacted in the way that we adapt the way we handle scenes and the way we adapt um interacting with civilians all right perfect um lieutenant governor you have anything to add um uh, one question i did add you stated you would want to put all this uh, equipment on all the apparatus would just to confirm everyone would be trained to be able to use this equipment correct don't want it to um, be a waste so right now as it stands um we have so-called hazmat equipment bags, which are now equipped in every apparatus, um, including two sets of hazmat suits, as well as some um, additional sets of gloves and boots. These sets are usable by any firefighter as they are trained on how to put it on and off. Uh, not every firefighter in the department is trained how to deal with hazardous situations in a way that they're not actually hazmat trained. However, these suits mainly serve to protect the firefighters as it's the best way to protect from any kind of attacks and we do have this a good amount of people who are currently hazmat trained who will respond to certain scenes to take over and use the additional equipment provided by one to two apparatus we have right down um in the base also the amount of you know equipment that is in on well on every other apparatus is hardly limited to suits and a chemical warfare detector um, so it's basically any apparatus is capable of protecting themselves but only hazmat trained personnel will be able to work with the hazmat well alongside hazmat apparatus in order to uh, secure scenes um in addition to that we're currently training more and more people so we're currently at roughly 50 percent of the department who is actually hazmat trained all right, I do have a follow-up question from that. Um, so every firefighter will be receiving this within their apparatuses while they're uh, on duty, I'm, I'm assuming is what you're talking about here. Um, would you say these suits are self-explanatory to, uh, to wear and put on and utilize? Would every firefighter have the common knowledge to use those? Just to make sure, because if any extra training is required, I want to make sure we cover that and we cover the cost within the, uh, the proposal that you guys are asking for. We, uh, we, we actually do plan on running uh, a drill uh, or two uh, of training uh, just on how to put on the suit uh, and how to operate it. It's, it is very straightforward once you, uh, you know, do have it in front of you, just, you know, gowning up and, uh, you know, activating the uh, respiratory systems. It's very simple once you get, you know, used to it. It's almost like riding a bicycle eventually. All right. And uh, with these drills, uh... When would these drills take place? Would it, uh, would it require overtime? Would it require, uh, you know, additional costs to the department and its funds? Absolutely not. Um, those drills right. will be done on patrol, so uh, it'll be within the normal duties. All right. All right. Um, Assistant Inspector General. I do not have anything. I'm glad that the uh, firefighter, firefighter Shaw is recovering nice and well. Um, has the department done anything for um, their family in regards to them getting injured? Uh, Chief, you want to take that? Yeah, as of right now, uh, our department's insurance is, uh, you know, obviously handling the uh, expenses of uh, the hospitalization uh, as well as this treatment. Um, 
typically there is uh with our insurance plan there's a copay but um i've convinced our insurance company to waive uh the copay considering this was a essentially a terrorist attack um and they had no problem waiving that for them um so we are doing everything to obviously make him uh uh you know uh, recover uh, financially as well, or actually not have to recover financially, only physically and focus on his health. And uh, actually, I believe he is back to work at this point as well. Yes, it's his first All day right, back. Love to hell. Yeah. All right. Send in my regards. Um, do you guys have any further to add to this proposal? I do not. Uh, McFall, Campbell. I do not. I do not either. All right, well, I'm just, uh, we don't have to call it a day here. We do have another meeting that we have to run off to. Um, but I'd like to thank you for the uh, the proposal. Like I said, we'll have a response to you as soon as possible. Certainly, sir. If I can just shake your hand before you leave. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, sir. All right. You take care. You too. Thank, Thank you, you all. Yeah, take care, everyone. Thank you. Appreciate your time, Governor. All right. Well, apologies on not having the <laughs> any uh, formal attire, but. Oh, it's fine. I didn't have any okay. expectation. I knew you were going to be on duty at the other station anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm dressed up for. Um. All right. Well, hopefully uh, this stuff gets resolved and we can get a this extra equipment yeah i hope so too uh, how do you how do you guys think that went i think it went pretty I, well i agree i mean if that proposal actually goes through the way it is we can actually move up to two level a suits per apparatus which would be amazing yeah definitely which we definitely need and yeah we'll have to do the training just make sure everyone knows how to use them and uh obviously you know yeah. anyone wearing them that's not you know fully hazmat trained um they of course will just be doing their normal duties just wearing uh, just happen to be wearing a level a suit and our hazmat guys will actually be you know more of the operations as far as hazmat goes 100 percent. i mean right now 21 out of 40 people are hazmat 21 out of 40 people are hazmat trained if you now exclude the probies it's 21 out of 35 who would be eligible to get hazmat trained um so 40 people that could be in on patrol maximum 20 of them are hazmat trained i think that's a good ratio to start off right yeah. so at least 20 more people know how to put on the uh, the suits in any way shape or form um and the drill obviously will be for anybody because it you know it's definitely not a bad thing to train how to put on those kind of suits especially if you're not on hazmat scenes that often yeah, I agree. So. All right. Well, hopefully we'll hear back from them. Um, yeah. Uh, Campbell, are you command tonight with uh, Dodd? I am, yeah. I'm doing a ride along with him. Awesome. Should be his final one, too. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, McPaul and I are going to be in hazmat for tonight. We're just going to kind of self-attach the calls for just additional aid, but you know, just to have okay. it around yeah. and open out in the open. Case, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Play it back as well as Dodd, then. I'll, I'll be on oh. call hazmat officer if need be. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to get back with Dodd here then. Okay. I'm walking the same way as you. So. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> so goodbye. I'll, I'll be walking the same way as well. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, we haven't said goodbye then. We'll just say goodbye and then not talk the rest of the way. Whoa. <laughs> we, what are you, what are you doing? It's it's a it's i see stairs and i gotta jump down them all right oh my god that, that was so dangerous <laughs> okay you, the thing oh you would have a heart attack with some of the things that the fire no, I break do. up oh yeah uh, i thought you were gonna say i was gonna do it like no no, no. the thing is we i think we should have proposed you know an extra amount of insurance money <laughs> yeah really I'm surprised 25k is all you proposed. I would have expected a good like 100k considering it's a whole fucking city. It's a start, but I mean, the thing is the suits are relatively oh, inexpensive, call. but consumables. Yeah, all right, hold on. All right, bye. Bye. I mean, we have our standard hazmat budget as well, so yeah. it's not like we're capped at 25,000. Yeah, we might self-attach to this if... Uh... 
I don't have my cat open, but that's fine. Hello, Chief. Hello. Look at it. I'm logging to the cat while I'm at it. Attention to the first. Can oh. I have your room? 7242 for a, for a fall victim, again, 7242 for a fall victim. Request the file over a 10 feet uh, dumpster full of trash. Victim says it's hard yeah, to um, move. He's conscious at this time. He's uh, audibly hurt. Do you really want to go to that? <laughs> Good copy. If I station one, we'll have medic one as well as car two and engine five responding. Yeah, we're not going to that. <laughs> what, uh, what active station we got? Yeah, for sure, one, one. Two and engine five. We will! Medic one, fam. Kick it! Oh yeah, what station we go to? One. Medic one, fam. Medic one, go ahead. Please, we're currently uh, roaming county. Uh, would you like Medic 5 to take it and stand down, or would you like it to proceed? 10 4, if you're all the way up in the county, go ahead and have Medic 5 proceed. Copy, Medic 1, stand it down. Fire! 